We want to turn to the coronavirus emergency and breaking news overnight. AstraZeneca now releasing new numbers about their vaccine trial after being accused of touting outdated information. Our Whit Johnson has the very latest. He's at a mass vaccination site here in New York. Wait, good morning. TJ, good morning to you. It's been a bumpy rollout for the AstraZeneca vaccine in the U.S. The company called out for not including the most updated information in its recent trial results. But now AstraZeneca says those adjustments have been made and it hopes to deliver the fourth vaccine in the U.S. Overnight, AstraZeneca releasing updated results from its clinical trials. The data showing its vaccine was 76% effective overall against symptomatic disease. That number 3% lower than reported earlier this week. AstraZeneca resubmitting its results after being accused of including outdated information. The new data also showing the vaccine remains 100% effective at preventing hospitalizations. The company expected to apply for emergency use authorization within weeks. This as more Americans are getting access to vaccines. 29 states in Washington, D.C. expanding eligibility to anyone over the age of 16, ahead of President Biden's May 1st deadline. In Arizona, thousands of new appointments for younger residents booking up in just 20 minutes. It's just crazy how much like a little shot can hold so much power. At least 16 states are seeing cases creep back up in the last week. Health officials warning the country has not yet turned the corner. We're still hanging out at 55,000 cases a day, um, and we're watching what's happening in people who are vacationing right now, and that concerns me a lot. Alarming scenes like these from spring break fueling concern about the rate of spread among younger unvaccinated adults. In Michigan, hospitalizations surging more than 600% for people in their 30s. The number is dramatically lower for seniors, many who've already had their shots. Officials saying that underscores the effectiveness of the vaccines. Now back to the AstraZeneca vaccine. A number of European countries recently temporarily suspended its use over fears of blood clots, but those cases were extremely rare. European regulators never found evidence that it was the vaccine that caused the clots and ultimately determined that the vaccine is safe and effective. Amy. All right, Whit, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.